What's going on guys welcome back to another cheeky Sansi video today we'll be having mechanic roleplay let's get to work episode number two if you guys were here in the first episode you will remember we modified this golf 7 R into a GTI and oh man, I've just been enjoying the ride but uh, yeah since it's not my car it's the customer's vehicle I think it's time we get back to the workshop and start with the next project just listen to this engine oh man so amazing getting sideways i realized that it's pretty diff it's pretty difficult to get this car under control and uh in the previous video one of you guys were one of you guys said that you are heartbroken when i bumped into the barrier a little bit i think it also has something to do with the controls you know uh, steering on, on such a tight circle with buttons isn't really easy but uh, I have been doing this for some time now so I think I have this under control now let's get back to the workshop uh, I'm not really used to this town what's it called again Palomino Creek so I do tend to get lost sometimes a little bit like right now uh, where, where is I think I have to turn left uh, yeah, there's the workshop at the end of the road. Should have turned right on the get-go. But uh, yeah, here we are. Let's start with the next project. For those of you guys who watched the the trees yesterday, you would notice that while I was driving the city, city golf along that main road leading from Montgomery to Palomino Creek, there was like a you know farm area on the right hand side and as I turned in I saw a man standing there and so this morning I went back to speak to that guy and he told me that he has a BMW E36 it's an old car of his that he used to race with and he would like me to restore it so right now he told me that I should come back there today this afternoon around three o'clock which is right now so right now we're just gonna make our way back there and see what we can do with that car I'm really excited to see uh, how much damage the car took and it's yeah the farm is right here yeah like I was saying I'm really excited to see how much damage that car took and you know the amount of work we'll have to have right now I just uh, I want to focus on modifying so uh, it would be a bummer if it took a lot of damage this is not a crash scene like the previous the previous project that we did it's just uh, an old car of his that he used to race with so it took a few bumps here and there so yeah I guess we'll just have to wait and see but anyways let me know what you guys think of this tow truck second video I'm using it in and uh, i just like the way it looks man i know i've been getting some complaints that oh it's driving slow but uh, what do you guys expect from a tow truck it's not meant for speed come on guys it's meant to carry weight it's not meant to be fast if you want speed in a mercedes i suggest you go drive a c-class but so uh, yeah anyways here we are pulling up on location let me just maneuver my way around here and we'll speak to the guy is he here yeah he's there there he is just park my car here okay what do we have here hey thanks for coming this is the car i was talking about it took a few bumps and bruises i left the keys in the ignition okay so he says he left the key in the keys in the ignition uh, and it's pretty much ours now well at least until after we modify it and then we'll have to give it back to him but yeah that's 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 later let's let's get this tow truck in position uh, before we tow it away I'm just gonna get back into assess the vehicle the amount of damage it took and whether or not it will be drivable or oh, the engine does start took some some pretty 
some some amount of damage okay let's just turn the engine off but on the get-go when when I look at this car you can see that it was a race car due to the roll cage and when he said that he, uh, he wanted me to modify it for him I was thinking of buying a roll cage to install it in for him but I see that he already has one so yeah I think that's less work for us but uh, I'm just in love with this tow truck man look at this oh uh, but enough flirting with the tow truck let's get back to the workshop while we're on our way there I heard yesterday Mr. President made an announcement that we'll be getting a light version Ooh, that sounds that's that's some good news eh? we're getting a light version well can't say when it will come out yet because obviously I'm busy with these videos and as well as a few other stuff but this week this week I think tomorrow I won't I won't post a video or maybe I will but tomorrow I will start working on it uh, it, it won't take a lot of time and it's just basically downgrading the main game uh, I think the main game will still be up and available for download and we'll then have a separate light version for the low devices so I think that's how it's gonna be so tomorrow I don't think there's gonna be a video we'll have to wait and see but I first want to get this this whole thing out of the way get this whole thing sorted get you guys happy and yeah then you can all then we can all enjoy the game okay but uh, yeah here we are pulling up on location back at the workshop let me let me maneuver this tow truck and line up this car to be loaded on the ramp as always uh, once we do get it up the ramp and we start the process the plan is well obviously since he said he uses this car to race well he used to use it to race and he'll now pass it down to his son to continue the legacy you know since it will be a race car the plan is to replace these these damaged parts with carbon fiber parts and since he said he's a big fan of what I do and he would like me to sponsor him and stuff he would like to represent the LTSA community um, looking here at the rear windshield it's empty I think we'll put one with our logo on it uh, not the hey this car it's experiencing difficulties to get up let me let me maneuver it in I think we'll have to replace the tires as well as well yeah look at that yeah we'll have to replace the tires as well because looking at these tires it's it's a bit thin and worn out from all the racing uh, yeah looking off the gecko we'll have to replace the rear windshield and the tires as well that's that's a priority just look at how difficult it is to get up on this ramp you saw how easy it was uh, last time with the golf yeah we'll have to replace the tires replace these damaged parts with carbon fiber uh, put in a spoiler here and there maybe add a wide body kit but the plan is to make things as light as possible let's get to work so right now which is just phase one obviously you guys already know this isn't this isn't that important this is just the uh, the cleaning up phase getting rid of all the the dirt and the scratches and just replacing the damaged parts with brand new ones first we had the windshield now let's go for the bonnet okay bonnet fixed next the front bumper we just line it up there we go front bumper fixed looking good so far next the front door the right front door let's get that up 
and into position I want to make sure it's perfect fam there we go next the left door let's get the left door in you guys already know phase one isn't that interesting it's just the cleaning up and uh, replacing of the damaged parts phase two is where things get exciting and lastly we'll have the boot and there we go phase one complete now phase two uh like i said we'll put in a wide body kit and i do have some spare rocket bunny things from the previous project so let's start with the bumper fender next we'll go with the front fenders i don't know why but i just love these these wide body kits man not only does it make the car look more fancy but it gives it that personality you know and it makes it stand out from the rest you know it's you know it's an e36 but it's a one of a kind e36 when you add a wide body kit you know uh, and to top it all off we'll have the rear fenders just throw that up there and line it up and place it into position there we go what do you guys think so far what do you guys think uh yeah i did promise the rear windshield so but yeah it's a process it's a process one step at a time one step at a time let's not rush this there we go that that by the way is the branding for my upcoming movie the speed hunters as well as the new logo for gtm zansi looking good what do you think guys what do you think uh, i think it looks great so far hey i think it looks great uh i don't think we can have an e36 with a wide body kit without a spoiler so i think we should go ahead and add a spoiler one two oh, enable edit mode go there we go spoiler yeah hey i think it looks a bit more complete with the wide body kit as well as a spoiler look at those exhaust tips i think to give it a finishing touch we'll add eyelids but obviously since i said we'll replace the wheel can't forget that that's a very important part we'll replace it with thick acute ll wheels the same one that we used on the what's that the vr6 yeah we'll use the same wheels here but uh, yeah let's go and add the eyelids look at the huge difference the eyelids will make just look at this just look at this you'll guy you guys will be shocked boom look at that oh man it gives it that that finishing touch the eyelids before it looks as if the car is crying you know but now the car just screams get out of my way look at that and uh, yeah we're pretty much done guys looking good we'll, we'll obviously have a custom number plate once we load the textures in but uh, when it comes to the workshop we're done what do you guys think let me know let me know in the live chat what do you guys think i think it's time we go take it for a test drive oh, really love the way it came out as you can see the difference in the tires and the rims it's a bit thicker now so i think it will be much easier to maneuver off this ramp as well as since he races on a dirt track i think this will help him a lot listen to that oh listen to that yeah let's get this off here and go on the highway and see what this car is made of once again once again let me know what you guys think of this car i think i've done a pretty good job obviously couldn't have done it without you guys uh, my favorite part is the eyelids man just look at it from the front these eyelids oh listen to that can't wait to get on the highway let's go man let's go man i really enjoy making these videos for a change that allows me to take a break from all the stress of this muddying and 
all this these logistics and stuff with, that has to do with releasing mod packs so I really love making these videos for a change but obviously I make th these for you so let me know if you guys enjoy this and if you would like me to make more of this and if the video is too short obviously I'm just trying it out let me know if you guys want longer videos and stuff but uh, personally I really enjoy making these type of videos for a change uh, yeah like I said I don't think I'll release a video tomorrow though I wanna start working on the light version downgrade the thing and make sure at least all of you guys have you know something oh, the front the front lights look shocking man but uh, yeah I think that brings us to the end of the video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time peace